Hello and welcome to another short video on tips, tricks, and equipment for medicine making. I want to talk about two things today. Number one, crock pots suck. So crock pots uh, um, are frequently used in medicine making as a, a heat source, but they're difficult to dial in the correct temperature. Uh, this crock pot doesn't even have a warm setting, it just has a low and a high, and uh, low and high are at the same temperature it's just the low takes longer to get there than the high. Both of them cap out at around uh, 208 to 212. So some crock pots will slightly boil. Um, most will come close to it. And then crock pots that have warm, uh, is that is normally a setting of around 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, even on warm, crock pots are too hot to do oil infusions or to do heated macerations like I have going here. Uh, and so there's, you, you've got to, they're convenient because, you know, you can take them apart and wash them, um, but you need better temperature control. So uh, when I started medicine making, the popular thing to do was to get a light dimmer switch and wire into the plug cord and adjust the amperage, therefore adjusting the temperature. Um, and I did that and it works, but it's a, a little iffy and uh, weird and, you know, there's this like homemade electrical thing uh, that is near uh, whatever is in your crock pot water or oil or anything. So um, I looked for alternatives for years. I finally stumbled across this really cool alternative. Uh, this is a heat controller designed for like a reptile aquariums. And uh, uh, essentially, you plug this in, you set the temperature that you want, uh, and then you plug the crock pot into the heating side, and uh, it will warm up, uh, well, and then you take the thermometer and put into your crock pot, and then it will warm up and hold that temperature within about five degrees on either side. So if you're doing like a, a infused oil and you want to hold uh, your temperature at 120 degrees, uh, set it 120. It will go up to like 125 or down to 115 and it will keep it in that sweet spot. Uh, uh, you can do that. I'm doing a, a hot ethanol uh, um, maceration right now just to speed up the extraction process, holding temperature at around 110 degrees on the Solomon seal tincture that I need that I need quicker than the three weeks it would take for a standard maceration. So. The flexibility and temperature control with these things is great. Uh, they only cost about $20. Uh, uh, you can hook hot plates up to them, crock pots. They, you know, I, I buy my crock pots uh, at thrift stores for three or four dollars uh, and then turn them into sensitive uh, heat holding medicine making equipment with uh, a few uh, additions. And I wind up coming out a lot cheaper than the more expensive crock pots like the, the newer instant pots that uh, you can dial the temperature in. So uh, really great piece of equipment. Uh, the other thing that I encourage you to try is uh, instead of doing a water bath or an oil bath, uh, use aluminum beads. Uh, these are recycled aluminum beads. I was inspired by a company that makes a product called Lab Armor. And uh, they are perfectly round aluminum beads that you can use uh, in uh, in the lab instead of a water bath. Uh, so I've been using them in my crock pots and turkey roasters uh, and in some of my bigger water bath uh, uh, lab water baths as well for several years now. Aluminum conducts uh, heat really easily. Um, I've got like 20 pounds here, so I put uh, a small layer in the bottom of my crock pot. To, put my jar or jars in. If you're doing multiple different oils uh, uh, at a time, uh, you just label the jars and you can stick multiple in. And then I dump uh, these aluminum beads uh, around it to stick my uh, thermometer from the heat controller, you know, towards the top. If you go towards the bottom, then uh, the overall temperature won't be reflective of what you set it at. Uh, but, you know, stick it towards the top. Uh, and uh, turn it on. Then you get even heating uh, throughout the kind of aluminum bead bath. 
and uh, your cleanup is a lot easier. So many times when doing water baths, you know, you take your jars out uh, and they're cooling and you forget that you've got it there and you come back the next day and everything's all icky and slimy and gross. Uh, or you do oil baths and you never get that smell of burnt oil out of your, um, out of your crock pot. To, uh, I think these aluminum beads are, are really handy. If you check on eBay under, um, recycled uh, aluminum beads or recycled aluminum bullion beads you can uh, often find these for i don't know 10 pounds for like uh, 20 30 bucks and uh, that 10 pounds is more than enough for a standard size crock pot so there's two tips uh, to make your medicine making more efficient to uh, clean up a little bit easier and uh, um, and a little bit more accuracy with your heat control I hope uh, that's been helpful and I hope to see you in another video. Mm -hmm.